These are thrips. Almost microscopic. This is 40 magnification, and this is the best video I could get them. So get a good look. Uh, they're so tiny, you can barely see them. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Hi, fellow planters and growers. This is Rachel with Everyone Can Grow. And today, we're working on my mom's indoor garden. And we're going to be cleaning it up uh, because she got thrips. She works in the garden section at Home Depot, so she might have accidentally got picked it up from there. Uh, and we're just going to work on it. Doesn't matter where she got the bugs, we're going to fight them off. This is a concrete helmet planter that I made. It's actually using my old band headband from when I was a soldier when I was in Iraq. You can see it's on there and uh, it's got some, I believe that's a hypostasis in there. Yeah, the polka dot plant. Uh, this is my mom's philodendron micans, which this is thrip damage. You can see the damage the bugs have done. Uh, look at the veinage and the brown spots. Look at the discoloration. Look at how the edge of the leaf looks. This is after I've already sprayed it down with a solution of a quarter cup of soap in a gallon of water. This is her, uh, well, this is my pregnant onion that I have my mom taking care of. They're just little babies though, so they don't do anything yet. This is the basil that I first noticed the thrips on or that she first noticed the thrips on. Uh, you can see the little speckling and the pock marking. You can see the folding of the leaf in on itself. You can tell that different plants have different um, reactions to getting their sap sucked out by microscopic bugs. So get a good look. And I'm trying my best to get good video here. It's hard to do. You can just notice the way the leaf edge is curling on this and that kind of discoloration that you're seeing overall on the leaf, especially on the edge there, where it's got that almost gray look like it's sickly, and those uh, big speckles of bruising where all the cells have died and turned brown. Real shame that. I love basil and it smells super good, so that sucks. But a couple treatments of this and those bugs will be gone. The soap and water treatment works darn near perfectly on any soft body insect. Uh, those are uh, onions that I'm looking at with the pink pot there. They're actually bunch onions, but it's so etiolated indoors you can't tell. Those two, there's two um, ponytail palms, and this is spearmint right here. No thrips on the spearmint. No idea why, but I'm glad it doesn't. They got treated, though. Uh, now I've got the, uh, oh gosh, what is this? Pothos, Epipernum aureum, golden pothos. This is one my mom gave me not too long ago. It was having issues. I didn't notice any bugs on it when I first brought it over to my house. I repotted it in this pot and I was just watching, waiting for it to get better. And then I noticed thrips on some of her other plants. So I brought this one out too to work with and wash off. Uh, I obviously can't really wash much with just my hands. One hand, I mean. So that's what you get. Here's some more videos of the thrips. Let me use these few seconds to talk to you a little more. When you have thrips, you're gonna notice like a spidering on the plants and that's the best way to get rid of them. You're not gonna see the actual thrips. Like this is my mom's indoor plant area. You can see my, this is all plants I've grown, but I have them in my mom's apartment. I wrap it in plastic so that way you can spray in there with soap, but you can see the soap. I've already sprayed it. So that way everything's cleaned off. You can see there's debris. You should always sweep or vacuum that debris up so that way the thrips can't hide in it. This is my uh, favorite terrarium where I have my desert terrarium. It's doing really well. It looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it's pretty old. It's like two years old but as far as terrariums go for me. This is my mom's little terrarium she built. Got the dino in it. Got dinos everywhere. I love dinosaurs. But when you're working with these uh, infestations like this, just spray everything and do this every week for four weeks, whether or not you see bugs on it anymore or not. This was done on a Saturday. Next Saturday is going to be done again. Uh, and then for four consecutive weeks. And that will break the life cycle of the thrip at any point. Egg, uh, maggot, regular thrip, whatever. I, don't, I know they're not called maggots, but whatever, guys. Pupae, whatever. Uh, you can see I have good humidity and the temperature is pretty low. So this is a great humidity chamber. This is just my mom's other indoor area where the pothos used to be. So all these are going to have to be treated as well since that pothos used to sit in this area and is probably the first one that got the thrips to begin with. 
Well, thank you all for listening and hope you all have a great day and don't get thrips. See you later. Bye-bye.